everything going on in the world right now, I believe, could be driving quite a bit of people to the precious metals. We saw it earlier this year, except I don't think the same people who dove into silver earlier this year are going to dive in for a second time. Now, you might agree with me. You might disagree with me. Here's the good news. You don't have to agree with me. I encourage you to disagree with me. I don't want a room full of people all thinking the exact same way that I think. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Happy Monday, and I hope everybody is doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and also gold because the spot price of both metals are up one day before election. I also have some news and updates regarding the sickness, the stock market, and the election. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate that. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to talk about a variety of different things. We're seeing silver start to climb. We're seeing gold start to climb. As I am recording today's video, silver is kind of hovering in the $24 range, which means it is up because just last week we saw silver drop down to the $23 range. $1 makes a big difference. And who knows, maybe two, $3 moving upward or downward could be in the very near future. And gold is in the 1890s right now which is 15 to $20 up from where it was just a few days ago when it was in the 1870s. So before I even fully dive into the precious metals, I have to talk about everything else going on. I have to talk about the bigger picture because I believe these next couple of points are playing a huge role in the moves that we're seeing silver and gold make. First things first, Sickness news. We have to talk about the cases being down from their highs over the last four days. This is good news, but we got to remember that it is, in fact, Monday. And over these last couple of months, we have seen the number of cases down on Mondays. I believe it's because of the way things are reported over the weekend, but it seems like the numbers are always low on Monday. So we can't be all that surprised if later in the week we start to see those numbers going back up. Now, the drug or treatment that experts are hoping will combat the sickness is Regeneron antibody cocktail that our president actually used just a few weeks ago. Regeneron is estimating that they will be able to get their batch of 50,000 vials to 300,000 vials by early 2021 and up to 2 million by the end of 2021. However, in order to get access to the treatment, you have to first be located near a facility that has it because there's so little of it as of right now, then you have to be deemed likely to have a severe case of the sickness to even be given the treatment. But this is where things begin to get strange because if you get sick, you don't get the treatment. You have a severe case of the sickness. And then according to reports, apparently you lose the ability to get the treatment. Don't ask me what that means. I'm confused myself. But complications aside, we have seen the numbers go down. We have seen positive updates regarding this treatment and the markets are very quick to react to it. For example, regarding the stock market, the market is actually up across the board. We're seeing green almost everywhere one day ahead of election. And speaking of election, here's some election news. As of today, 94 million ballots have been cast, which by the way, is only 68% of the grand total ballots cast in 2016. This is likely because of all the vote by mail ballots that are going out, which experts are expecting to be 10 times more of this time around than four years ago. Now, facts and numbers and statistics and experts aside, I wanna share my opinion. Now, I'm gonna keep my political beliefs to myself because I don't believe in pushing my beliefs on others. However, I just wanted to say that in my opinion, I'm bracing myself for chaos regardless of who wins. And it's not necessarily strictly because of who wins, it's more so because of who loses. Regardless of who loses, they're gonna contest it. They're going to fight it. They're going to rile up their supporters and I would not be a bit surprised if we see complete and total insanity. And by the way, I got a lot of questions last night during the live stream if I'm going to be live streaming on Tuesday night, election day evening, am I going to do it? 
Truth be told, that depends on what time I get home. And on top of that, it also depends on if I want to even be on the internet when all of the internet craziness is going on. However, even though Tuesday, I'm unsure, Wednesday, I will be live streaming in the VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description if anybody wants to join. It's not just privately held live streams. It's also giveaways and discounts and personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale, and you can watch all the YouTube videos commercial free. Link will be in the description. Thank you in advance. Now let's talk about the silver and the gold. As I was saying earlier, the markets are very quick to react to world news and everything going on within the economy and, and, and politically and everything. So silver and gold, they're not exactly the stock market, they're the precious metal market, but the markets typically follow the same trends. If one goes up, the other one might not go up right away, but it might follow shortly after. Now, what did we see last week? Everything was doing okay, and then the stock market took quite a bit of a hit. Silver and gold stood strong. 24 hours later, they started to drop. Silver dropped by about a dollar. Gold dropped by about $30. And then they pretty much sat tight. Thursday, Friday into the weekend, we didn't really see all that much going on Sunday night. Now, here we are on Monday, both metals are up. Not by a whole lot, but they're definitely up. Silver is up almost a dollar. Gold is up about $20. So I would not be a bit surprised if we see them both continuing to rise, especially with all of the uncertainty, at least for the short term. Everything right now is so chaotic. Everything right now is so uncertain. We're seeing this country shutting back down. We're seeing this country shut back down. That country over there shutting back down. This person saying this, this person saying that. There's a lot of people who are uncertain and are under the impression that we could be next here in the U.S. We could be shutting down again, which our president essentially vowed not to let happen. But who knows what direction we're going to go in? Who knows what the next update is going to be regarding the sickness, the treatment, or, or anything else? Who knows? Nobody knows. None of us are psychics. Even the experts, even the epidemiologists... Even the economists are confused right now. And I think it's important to stay objective. It's important to take a look at absolutely everything. Pay attention to as much as humanly possible. I've been saying this for the last couple of years. But right now, it's probably the most critical time to keep your eyes peeled and keep your head on a swivel. And the reason I say that is because over the next... 24 hours, there is going to be so much uncertainty in the markets. There's going to be so much confusion. There are going to be so many emotional decisions being made. Somebody sells off out of fear or they buy in out of hype. There's going to be a lot of people making decisions that they don't truly want to make. There's a lot of people who are going to be controlled by the fear of missing out. There's a lot of people who are going to be controlled by what this guy is doing or that guy is saying. Somebody's saying, oh, this is going to go to $30 in the next 30 days or that's going to be, that's going to drop down by 50%. There's a lot of people making a lot of weird predictions right now. There's a lot of people who are trying to understand the markets who have really no idea what's going on and they're not really thinking objectively. They're looking at people who have been involved for a couple of years, couple of decades, and they're making decisions based off of their decisions. So there's a lot of chaos going on right now and there's a lot of factors that are driving prices up there's a lot of factors that are driving prices down and we have absolutely no idea where the numbers are supposed to be it's a very confusing time and as i've been saying these last couple of months it's not just an election we have to worry about every four years elections drive people crazy this time around it's not just a simple election this is an extremely pivotal point for all of us it's not just a presidential election. We have the possibility of shutting back down. We have people who have been out of work pretty much this entire year, praying, hoping to God to go back to work. We have people who already did go back to work who might be getting sent back home. We have the number of sicknesses going up and then they're going down and then it seems to start to go away and all of a sudden everybody's saying, oh, it's the second wave. Point being is that there's a whole lot going on from a 
public health perspective, from a political perspective, from a stock market perspective, from just your regular average Joe with a nine to five perspective, there's a lot going on. And this is the time where a lot of people gravitate towards the silver and the gold because historically speaking, they have done an excellent job of holding their value, especially gold. Silver, the volatility, it, it, much more volatile. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. It, it, it leaps huge jumps, and then it falls down by, by quite a bit. Gold, yeah, it can take a hit. But earlier this year, when gold got knocked down a couple hundred dollars, it stood strong. Silver got practically chopped in half. It went from about $18, $19 all the way down to below 12 I would say silver took way more punishment than gold did for that very short while. And then as they started to recover, as they started to go back to where they were before they got knocked down, and they started to stabilize or normalize, I guess you can say, and then at that point, they started to climb. Gold reached a brand new all-time high this year. Silver went to about a seven-year high for the first time in years Silver surpassed the $20 mark, and a lot of people were surprised by that, myself included. I thought we had years to go before we saw silver go over the $20 mark. And it didn't just go over the $20 mark. It went to 21 22 25 26 28 $29 and change. It almost went to $30. I was mind blown when I saw that. A couple months ago, when I saw $29 and change, I remember saying to myself, I was like, oh man, we're going to hit $30 tomorrow. I wasn't ready for that. I needed to get way more silver before I saw the numbers really start to climb. I've been saying for the last couple of years, I was like, let me get at least a couple thousand ounces before the spot price starts to take off. And we started to see the spot price appearing to begin taking off. And the spot price didn't completely take off like people were expecting it to, but the premiums took off. And that was a point that was incredibly frustrating and confusing to all of us who had been stacking long before the crash of March 2020. Many of us who had been stacking for at least a couple months before that, couple years, couple decades before that, unbelievably inconvenient and frustrating. But unfortunately, business is business. I believe that they raised the premiums up to make up for lost revenue. And I believe they kept the premiums up for a completely different reason. I think they kept the premiums high because of supply and demand. We had a lot of people who were stacking for the first time ever throwing dollar bills at these online precious metal dealers. They don't have to lower their prices if people are paying the high prices. That's supply and demand. That's the way it should be, to be honest with you. Even though it's inconvenient for me, inconvenient for you, frustrating... We can't get nearly as much silver as we want because now it takes more dollars to get our hands on the silver and also the gold. But that's the way business works. That's the way it should be. Even though it was inconvenient for me, I think businesses should be able to put whatever price tag it is that they want on something that is not necessarily essential to survive. Point I'm trying to get across is everything going on in the world right now, I believe, could be driving quite a bit of people to the precious metals. We saw it earlier this year, except as I said in yesterday's video, I don't think the same people who dove into silver earlier this year are going to dive in for a second time, especially not over the course of just six or seven or eight months. I don't think people are going to jump in twice in such a short window of time. I think the overwhelming majority of people who joined out of hype, not the people who joined because they wanted to begin preserving their wealth for the long term and using their silver and using their gold as a hedge against inflation, I do not think those people are included in what I'm talking about. Those people, they're on the same page as you and I. Or if we're not on the same page, we're at least probably in the same book because we're using the silver and the gold for wealth preservation purposes. However, those people aside, there were tons and tons and tons of people who were looking at silver and gold from a short-term perspective. There were a lot of people who were diving into the precious metals for 
an opportunity to quote unquote get rich quick. They're like, oh, if I jump in now, when spot price is only $22 with a seven or an $8 premium, maybe tomorrow I'll be a millionaire. I think there were a lot of people who jumped in for pretty much that reason. And I think a lot of people found out the hard way that the precious metals aren't really supposed to be viewed as a way to get rich. I don't think it should be viewed as a way to make money. I think the precious metals should be viewed as a way to save money. I do not view this as an investment. I, I see it more as a physical at-home savings account, if that makes sense. Now, you might agree with me. You might disagree with me. Here's the good news. You don't have to agree with me. I encourage you to disagree with me. I don't want a room full of people all thinking the exact same way that I think. That's not healthy. But moving forward, this is an extremely pivotal point for all of us. I would expect over the next 24 hours, the fear and nerves and uncertainty will continue to build. I think people are going to continue getting more and more nervous, more and more on the edge of their seat, because it's not even just from a financial aspect. It's an everything aspect. People are not only worried about their money, they're worried about their health and safety, they're worried about a lot of things right now, and like I said, we're getting hit from all angles. There's a lot going on right now. A lot of craziness. And I know my entire brand is positivity, but there are some times where it's more important to be realistic than it is to be optimistic. Of course, hope for the best. But you got to prepare for the worst. And everything going on right now, especially over the next 24 hours, it's going to be a lot of craziness going on in the world. And like I said, regardless of who loses, they're going to contest it. They're going to fight it. Their supporters are going to go at war with each other on Twitter. It's going to be crazy. And guess what? Tomorrow is election day. As I asked in yesterday's video, when is election results day? We have no idea. We're not going to find out the answers tomorrow or the day after. I highly doubt that. I don't even know if we're going to find out this week. We might not even find out till the, the middle or the end of the month for all I know. Which means the uncertainty is going to continue to build. Historically speaking, I've been saying this the last couple of weeks as well, historically speaking, 45 days before election day is when the uncertainty in the markets start to formulate. One week before election day is when the peak of uncertainty is. However, after we find out the results, things start to stabilize, things start to normalize, and yeah, we saw a downtrend, but now things start to go back up. Something tells me it might be a little bit different this time around because this time around, I don't think we're going to get a very quick answer. I think we're going to go another couple of days, maybe another couple of weeks with this building amount of uncertainty. It's going to get just crazier and crazier and crazier in my opinion. But as I've been saying for the last couple of years now, I'm trying my best to combat the financial hardships and economic uncertainty with the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a bunch of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. Got a brand new video dropping tonight. 
And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But I want everybody watching right now to head on down to the comments and let me know. Opinions aside, let's keep our opinions to ourselves. Let's focus on the facts. Let's focus on being realistic, logical, and objective. With everything going on in the world right now, from a sickness perspective, from a treatment for the sickness perspective, to a political perspective, everything going on creating mayhem in the markets, what do you think silver and gold will do in the short term? Most of us have an idea of what silver and gold are going to do for the long term, hence why we're stacking it. But what do you think silver and gold will do over the next 24 hours or over the next couple of days or over the next week or so? How do you think the two precious metals are going to react to all of the uncertainty? Do you believe that more people are going to be gravitating towards the silver and the gold for wealth preservation purposes? Do you think people are going to be selling off their silver and their gold? to liquidate, similar to what we're seeing a lot of people do in the stock market, selling off to liquidate just so they have cash on hand? Or do you think something else is going to happen? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.